How's it going, Sagittarius? I hope everybody's having an amazing day. We are going to get right into your reading, all the blessings that are coming towards you in the next 30 days. So do take what resonates. Always head over and watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement. Sign readings. Um, as promised, for the month of September, two free personal readings I'm giving away. Um, all you need to do to take part in my monthly giveaways is become a subscriber. So go ahead and do that. New and returning subscribers leave something fallish, um, a fall emoji down below in the comment section. I know those of you in the Southern Hemisphere, you're moving into spring, but fall is my favorite time. My birthday is in the fall, so I'm embracing this fall energy. At the end of each and every month, I will randomly choose those people to win the giveaway. And at the very last weekend of each month, I'll remind you to check your notifications because like I said, two people will be hearing from me. All right, let's get into this reading. All the blessings coming towards you in the next 30 days. Feel a lot of healing going on within you, Sagittarius. Some of you are in the process of healing, of evolving. Yeah, I feel a sadness for some of you, feeling attached to someone, um, maybe thinking about a person a lot more than you would like to. You would like to detach from the memory of that person or just thinking about them every day. I feel like this is, you're taking the mask off. You're being very raw and real with yourself. Remember when I said healing and evolving before this even came out in the next 30 days. I feel like there are people around you that are not being completely honest with attachment and envy. Someone who's envious of you. Someone who's watching from afar. Remember the blessings that are about to come your way, Sagittarius. I just said this to my sister yesterday. She's like, I trust this person with my life. I said, well, you shouldn't because you really don't know them. And less is better. The less you say, the less... You talk about all the blessings coming towards you to people. Unless there are people that show up in your life each and every day that you know you can trust. Like my sister can trust me. Don't say you trust people with your life because why would you? Not everybody is about your blessings, your happiness. So less is better in regards to everyone around you. Specific people, yes. Open up, pour your heart out. But not to everyone. Because there's going to be a lot of blessings that roll into your life in the next 30 days. And not everybody's bringing in that type of energy towards themselves. Appreciation. Yeah, you are drawing in blessings. No matter the situation in your life. It's like attitude is gratitude. You've got this appreciation for the hardships that you've been through. Those tests of faith. And then you've got the appreciation for all the beauty that still surrounds you. Seeing a miracle in each and every day, regardless of what energy you're feeling right now, you are going to rise above that. And these are blessings coming towards you. Look at the bottom of the deck. Door to romance. Door to romance. All right, let's get it. See what else. Spirit, next 30 days of blessings for my Sagittarians pathway. See how it's dark over here? It reminds me of the Six of Swords. So it's dark over here, right? See how bright it is? See the butterflies that are lighting the pathway to the light? This shows the evolving that I was picking up on in the very beginning of the reading. This shows the healing energy, the transformation and you're reaching that light within the next 30 days. It's been about the journey and the hardships and the, the wisdom. Yes. 
Did I not just say it's been about the journey? You're embarking on a brand new journey in the next 30 days. There's a breakthrough happening. It's like you've packed your bags. You've walked away from being a 10. You've walked away from specific endings and cycles. And this is a brand new chapter beginning for you in the next 30 days. Look at this. You're receiving some form of good news, message of concern. For some of you, it's going to be someone's emotions and feelings for you. For others of you, it's going to be good news coming towards you in a different form. All right, let's get deeper. Judgment. Start the month off with judgment. A lot of self-awakening, introspection, divinely guided blessings. And there are specific things that you're leaving in the past so you can move forward towards that light. Look at this. Two different decks. Look at how synchronistic it is with the light. All right. I love it. You're distancing yourself from those people that are envious, that bring negative energy towards you. Exactly what I said. You are distancing yourself from this. You're evolving. There are certain people that are going to be left behind, and that's okay. There is one meme that I love. It's like, you're not everybody's cup of tea. Some people don't like tea. Some people like coffee. You're not everybody's cup of tea, and that's okay. The people that have mistreated you, the people that have been manipulating, the people that treated you like a puppet, you're done with that energy. The people that were envious of you. You know, we make jokes like me and my girlfriends, like something good happens and you're like, oh, I'm jelly. I'm jealous. I'm jelly. But are you really? No. You want positive things for those people that you care about. And look at this rainbow of blessings coming into your life. Sagittarius, you've been so hard at work. You're focused, you're dedicated in multiple aspects of your life with relationships, with finances, with laying that solid foundation for yourself and really working hard on it. And you notice the dominoes, domino effect of blessings coming towards you. I love it. Let's get deeper. Like I said, no matter the situation in your life currently, you're still finding a blessing in each and every day. Those people that want to stay in like the woe is me type of energy, you're going to stay in that energy. You're going to repeat multiple cycles of that energy. All right, clarifying judgment. Ten of coins. Five of Wands, again, overcoming the challenges. Taking those challenges and making them to abundance, prosperity, feeling content. This could be an unexpected windfall of money coming your way. Um, this could be taking over a family business. This could be inheritance. But I feel an influx of money and finances. Stability. Yeah. Yeah. You're walking away from heartbreak, of pain, of feeling attached to specific things of, that still bring um, sadness to you. Letting go of people that are envious of you. You're letting go of that type of manipulating energy. And there it is. The focus, the dedication is leading you to that light bulb. It obviously has wings. So what you're taking a leap of faith towards you're breaking free you're finding growth you're traveling forward you're freeing yourself and taking a leap of faith and you have a lot of passion behind what this leap of faith is towards 
yeah, you're walking away from feeling defeated. Look at that. Very synchronistic. You are moving very quickly towards that light, towards that light bulb. And you notice right beyond the light bulb, right beneath it, is a victory. It's a trophy. It's success. All right. Let's get deeper. And look at this. This doesn't belong here. Let's see what it is. Are you good at something? Are you crafty? Are you good at building things or making things from scratch? Creative in your mind in terms of poem or poems or music or books? Spirit saying, invest in that. For those of you that want to start your own business and you always say to yourself, like, I'd really love to do that. You know, would I have the finances? Would I have the support? Absolutely. With judgment and the ten of court and the ten of coins. Not only do you have support all around you from those people that show up in your day every day, but you also have divine guidance, divine support. Eight of coins, look at that. Two different decks, very synchronistic. Dedication to craft, take this opportunity and move forward with it for those of you that that is resonating. Yeah, you've got the eye on the prize. You want better memories ahead, more peace and harmony in your life, more time to play. You want to move past the troubled waters. Get ready to celebrate. I love it. Three of wands. Your ships are coming in. I do feel additional abundance, additional support for yourself. I feel good news coming your way. The breakthrough is going to be very grounded. And it's you. It's you're manifesting your dreams. So what is it that you're thinking about, that you're dreaming about? You might even be meeting someone within your place of work or business, like been flirty with one another and, you know, you're going to move it forward. You're going to take each, you know, go out with one another, maybe keep it hush hush so you don't have envious people around you, giving people reason to talk, but there are blessings coming your way. And like I said, for those of you that have got some form of talent, and maybe you want to find your talent. Maybe you feel like you're being drawn down a specific direction and you want to follow your intuition on that. Like I said, multiple doors of opportunity are opening up for you. I've got door to romance. I have three of wands with appreciation. So what you're manifesting is going to come to fruition. I feel like you're evolving and moving forward towards these blessings and you're healing as you're doing it. All right, what else for my Sagittarians? Do you want to go back to school? Do you want to further your education? I feel an opportunity is coming in terms of that. You might even be offered a course within your business and somebody's like strongly suggesting that you take it. This is additional information and lessons. And following your inner guidance. Take some time for yourself. Go into retreat mode. You know, connect with your soul. But also in this energy, you receive ama amazing messages from your spirit guides. Repeating numbers. You know, when you feel drawn to a specific thing, a specific direction change of course and you're you're being drawn down something a different path it's your divine guidance bringing you there follow your inner compass it will never leave you astray all right let's see what a, a message from your higher self sagittarius look at this look at the synchronicity in this do your thoughts need a reboot focus on the good in your life. 
some of you that's really hitting home and then this one to fly out give your inner critique a vacation day be kind to yourself final message guys for the next 30 days of blessings final message for the next 30 days of blessings some of you may be drawn to animals you know you might be rather wanting to be around animals more than people i'm definitely one of those people this is 39 so this is a 12 which is another three showing up ascension lift prepare for rapid spiritual growth be ready for opportunities all right sagittarius leave the word no leave something foolish down below in the comment section go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already so you can take part in my monthly giveaways Anytime you want me to tune in to just your energy, click on the link in the description box. It will take you over to my Etsy shop. Over there, it's reopened, it's restocked, and it, there is a sale going on on my personal readings. So much love and light, guys.